I know the emotions are fairly raw right now, but you guys have been a part of teams that have had a lot of success, have won Stanley Cups. What will it take from where you sit right now to get back there? That's it. Are you concerned that the window of being able to contend for cups is closing for you guys? The commitment's always been winning and so much of our game is built around our work ethic. As long as you have that, you give yourself a chance. You gotta continue to move forward. You know, I don't know that anyone could have imagined the position that the world is in right now. But, you know, we all miss hockey, myself included. I can't wait till we establish some level of normalcy so we can get back to doing what we love to do. When I talk to Jim and we do a debrief of our team and the experience we went through and how we can improve and we try to identify certain areas where we think we want to try to get better. As I say to our guys all the time, you know, when, when you don't live up to expectations, then change is inevitable. Let's start with the big move, though, the Matt Murray trade. The main topic is the Murray trade. And now yesterday, I'm sure as you've heard by now, the coaching staff, a complete shakeup. The latest big trade for the Penguins, Patrick Hornquist dealt to the Florida Panthers in exchange for defenseman Mike Matheson and winger Colton Sevier. We also had a deal since last episode. The Penguins acquired forwards Casperi Kapanen. It's going to be interesting to see where he is in his game after he gets a little bit of a break and a change of scenery. Jim Rutherford's very active offseason continues. I wouldn't put anything past Jim over the next week and a half here. So while we're waiting for other information to come in, Let's prioritize these three guys. Jankowski, Rodriguez, and Simone. I think Dominic's a real good player. Yeah, Simone might be the best player, but we we should opt for the centers. Yeah. It's a tough one to answer, but somebody has to answer what you want. And I think it falls back to you. You're, you're the guy putting them over the board. You okay with committing to Rodriguez first? Yeah. He's going to score goals. He's going to score goals for us. I mean, if we're passionate about a Jankowski, you know, and we know we can do it, is there any harm in doing it? No, Great. no I'm okay with that. Okay. We're going to go for him? Yeah. Tell Michelle that you do the paperwork on Rodriguez. And Jankowski. One year deal from seven years. Great job, Jim. Well, Sully, if you like speed, you certainly got it on your wings. Well, good job today, everybody. Pending the approval of each side's executive board and Canadian health officials, the Deputy Commissioner Bill Daly letting it be known that there is a deal in place. The PA and the National Hockey League have approved a 56-game season. We dropped the puck on January 13th. Let's go. The two sides of the league and the players have been grinding away for quite some time. At the end of the day, the two sides said, we need to get an agreement done and stop dragging things along. The 2021 season is a go. It's going to be four divisions. Each division is going to have four teams in the playoffs. So this is like the 1980s all over again. You're going to have to fight your way out of the division. But what's crazy, well, three of the divisions have to play their opponents eight times. You're not playing outside your division, then you're playing the playoffs. I mean, these guys are going to hate each other so much by halfway through the season. It's like, put them in the Coliseum, and I love every aspect of it. It's a man's game at this point. Get your way out of your division, and then you could fight for the cup. When you know a team's game and you're only focused on seven, eight other teams, 
it just changes your season's mentality because you're really playing team by team as opposed to preparing for 30, 31 teams. So I actually love what they did this year. It's a crazy year. You could have gone even crazier, but this is different. This is going to have a different feel, and it's a sprint to the finish. I, I just, like I said before, I'm repeating myself. I'm ready. I'm ready. I got to run these schedules down to the COVID testers, make sure everybody gets in. Uh, we started way back in August, uh, preparing for the upcoming season, and you know, with the equipment staff, my staff, team services, the physicians, building staff, has a big collaborative effort to prepare for this, putting protocols in place, and now everything's already set up in place for the players once the season started, and. It's all part of the protocol to keep all of us safe and COVID free. Can I help you with a first and last one, please? Yeah, Casey just rest. How are you today? Good, thanks. That's good. All right, here's the. Got all the good stuff, huh? Morning, guys. Yes. Just in case there's a roster for today. All right, all good down here? Yeah. All right, thanks, folks. I'm sure I'll be back down. With this virus, we are prepared for the unexpected. And the unexpected is if we would get a case of COVID. Now, that being said, we can make this as safe as possible, but there is an outside world. Every day brings a new twist. And in my opinion, we've done a hell of a job making this place as safe as possible. Pens are officially back in business. Things are different this year because of the pandemic. One of the Pens' new players, Kasperi Kapitan, is dealing with some immigration issues. Coaches are wearing masks for practice. The team has to socially distance whenever it's possible. But no matter the changes this year, there still is that excitement for the start of the season. Here we go, play. Yeah, Mikey, Mikey, yeah, yeah. Let's save, Tristan. We need some pucks right here. Get up, get up, get up. That's it. That Matheson can really skate for. Nice play! Nice play! Matheson ever skated, huh? Oh my god. It looks like he's black. Like it looks like he's floating. First one's gonna be pressure, the second one's gonna be a wedge, the third one's gonna be a hockey decision based on circumstance. Right? That's game real. That's game real. Oh you Nice pass, Gensi. I should have stopped though. Like I, I faded. If I just stopped there, it's perfect. If we're in the look and we're in pressure, we gotta get up and five. All right, ready? Crispy. Get started here. Uh, first question from Michelle Cracciola. Go ahead, Michelle. Hey, Evan, just how much more comfortable do you feel this time around on and off the ice with everything that comes with being a member of the Penguins organization? I definitely uh, feel more comfortable this time, you know, going from, I guess, last season to the bubble and now here, it almost feels like a, a third training camp. So it's business as usual and we're just trying to go out there, have a strong start, strong camp, and I think that's the season going. That is so good at picking up passes. It's insane. Oh, nice play. Jake's so good, isn't he? Him and Sid just have an incredible chemistry. They make those subtle plays in traffic, you know? It could be six feet behind him and his feet, six feet in front of him, and somehow it gets on his face. Thanks, Evan. You're all finished, and we'll get ready. We have Mike Matheson up next. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah, nothing, no problem. I'm, like, trying not to look at myself. I know, that's weird. I stare at the little white light in the top. The 56-game NHL season begins next Wednesday with the Penguins in Philadelphia, January 13th. Training camp started today at PPG Paints Arena. And for defenseman John Marino, he's starting his second season in Pittsburgh with a brand new contract. It's pretty nice. A six-year deal that'll pay Marino an average of $4.4 million a year. I'm really grateful for this opportunity to, you know, to be a Penguin for this long. It just goes back to, you know, when you're skating as a kid, you don't really think about this moment and all those uh, road trips you take with your parents and 
you know, everything that they've gone through in order for you to be in this place. And you know, it's pretty cool to see it all come together. Can I just get one photo of you looking at me, smiling, just like holding the pen? Holding the pen. Yeah, that's, great. <laughs> that's really exciting to get back and uh, see everyone after a long break. And uh, it's going to be really fun to see everyone on the ice too. And it's just awesome to hang out with everyone. Really, you know, we haven't really got that opportunity yet, but you know, it's pretty exciting going forward. Hi John. What's up coach? How you doing man? Good, how are you? Congratulations. Thank you. Giving up a bump. Yeah, appreciate it. Really happy for you. Very deserving. Thank you. How's it feel? How are you doing? It's good. Yeah? Good. Congratulations. Thank you. you excited? Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. Well, it's well deserved. Good stuff. Yeah. Harvard will be proud of you. <laughs>
Now let's start to pick it up. Attack with speed, gentlemen. Oh, oh slippery. That's it, Lisa. Come on, OC. Oh, that shot. That again. Woo! Making it look easy. Come on, P.O. Now, find an opening. Oh, boom! I can't score. Can I score one? Just once. First one's the toughest, P.O. One more edge. Find it. Boom. Oh. Oh. That's luck. This is luck. You create your own luck, is that what you're saying? There you go. That's it, P.O. That looked good. Last one. Woo! <laughs> Yay! 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 That's it, gentlemen. Good work today. Oh, God. I got the puppy because last time you messed up. You're going to spit it everywhere again. Twice again. <laughs> so much to learn. Just so much to learn. Dude. Another day at the office. Gentlemen, we've all waited with excitement for this day. Let's have a great battle. The Battle of PA signaled the start of the NHL season. With the newly anointed taxi squad watching, the Penguins didn't fare well in Philadelphia. One on you, one on you! Drew holding on. He waits across the ice. He's in front. They score! And the Penguins will drop both of these season opening games in Philadelphia. Okay, guys, as I said to you before, we got to dictate the terms. Right? We gotta dictate the terms. Let's not play their game. Let's make sure we force them to play ours. We got a chance to push the pace. We gotta push the pace. Okay, we gotta make good decisions at the lines. Let's play behind this defense score. Let's challenge them with speed. We gotta be hard on pucks. Force them to defend our speed. Okay? We need to be the hungrier team. Let's go get our first win here. Dumoulin shot stopped by Samsonov. Crosby at the side of the goal. Wipes it right through the goal crease as Pittsburgh applies some early pressure. They score! Christ. Evan Rodriguez, 19 seconds in. Hey, let's uh, let's knife across a little more. We've side wing. Oh, Sam Sonoff, near side, turns it over to Blue Green. What a shot, they score! Colton Sevier! Hold the phone, Josh. Boy, Steve. This one might have hit the crossbar and come out. I think it might be a goal, Borky. Boy, that was an optical illusion that is. I think it does hit that white pad. Clear as day, no? You don't think it's a goal? It looks clear as day on the replay. <laughs> I don't know. It, that's what it hit. It hit the camera. It hit the camera. I thought it hit the camera. After review, it's confirmed the puck does completely cross the goal line. That Very is one weird. of the more bizarre things I've ever seen as far as replays. Lots of room down low if the Capitals want to take advantage of it because they're respecting Carlson and Ovechkin. Ooh. Let's keep an eye on it. There it is. They score! Comes behind the net on the forehand. Sailors in front. Pedersen wrist shot. Scores! Marcus Pedersen ties this game from the slot. 60 minutes and then five minutes not enough. We go to a shootout. Come on, Gensu. Come on, Gensu. Fresh puck. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Comes down the left wing, Gensel on the forehand to the backhand, tucks it. Oh, yeah. he scores! Nice. And all that needs to happen is Alex Ovechkin has to be held scoreless. In between the hash marks, Ovechkin shoots, denied by this Smith. Penguins win. Casey DeSmith holds his ground, and the Penguins have their first victory of this season. With a win under their belts, the Penguins notched another victory. Kasperi Kapanen, reacquired this offseason, was able to join the team after a two-week quarantine. This is where it all started for me, being drafted by Pittsburgh, and I'm very excited to be back here and playing with a tremendous team. Even just all the guys reaching out, like Tanger and Sid, you know, it was really nice and felt welcome back to the team. 
the younger me wasn't always too interested in defending and doing the, you know, the grinding. And my time in Toronto really taught me to become a more complete player and, and you know, start playing penalty kill and doing things that will hopefully get me into the NHL one day. And I think that's something that I did. And I think whenever you go out and play a hockey game, you don't want to kind of just go out there and get a feel for things and doing what's required of you. You always want to go out there and produce and try to help the team win. Center down the left wing, one on two. Kasperi Kapanen right circle, wrist shot, save made by Vanacek. Rebound loose, and they score! Oh, shake and bake it, magic make me. Give me some more of that 42. Kasperi Kapanen, what a solo effort. Speed, skill, he battles through a toe pick, everything, it was all there. Another day, another Penguins debut. Injuries were starting to mount on the blue line, and defenseman P.O. Joseph was recalled from the taxi squad to make his NHL debut. January 22nd, 2021, that's today. That's gonna be a day, a night he will always remember. My only advice to him would be, try to remember everything. Joseph a drive on the follow-up score! Hey! It's Teddy Bluger! Hey! Congratulations to Pierre Olivier. Joseph, with your first National Hockey League point, it doesn't get any better than that right there. Yeah! Yeah! Settling into their new routine. New players, new coaches, new protocols. And in doing so, they were becoming a team. Each member, while just one part, is crucial to the success of the whole. And while the optics may look a little different, the goal remains the same. We've had our ups and downs at this point. What I like about our group is the resilience that we've shown, and so we're finding ways to win, and we got to continue to get better each and every day. This is a very accomplished group, and it's a proud group. Gensel shoots one, he scores! Yes, and he's got it! Career goal number 100 for Jake Gensel. One thing you notice about this group is, you know, there's no quit in us. It's going to be one hell of a season. Shocking news coming out of the Pittsburgh Penguins organization earlier. General manager here in the Steel City, Jim Rutherford, announced he had resigned effective immediately. I want to personally thank Jim Rutherford for everything he's done for the Pittsburgh Penguins. He won two cups here. He's in the Hockey Hall of Fame. He's a fabric of the community of Pittsburgh already. He says what he means and he means what he says. I think now we're looking for someone that can take this great group of players and hang another banner on the rafters.